Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is September 3rd, 2022. I am back to give you all an update, Parks Prediction, in the market for XRP and how some shocking information could come forth once the summary judgment for uh, the SEC going against Ripple comes out. We're going to talk about the day today and then we're going to see whether or not the market in XRP is going to continue to go up. I am here. You guys can see that I already got a price prediction on the chart for XRP. But before we get into that, let's look at this article right here, which is posted from you today. And the title reads Ripple Lawsuit. John Deaton predicts shocking thing that might happen after some summary judgment briefings. I just love the sens sensationalism that these articles go into. Right. It, it tries to, you know, Play on our emotions it, it plays on our thinking and tries to persuade us into how we should be moving let's look at this article now look at this article real quick so i went through this article and highlighted a couple of things about um, the summary judgment and what john deaton thinks could come out from it and i quote this is what john dean he is a crypto law founder and he's making a bold price prediction or a bold prediction and he says, and I quote, when the summary judgment motions are public, we will see evidence we are currently unaware of, including testimony from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, co-founder Chris Larson, Ripple CTO Davis Schwartz, and former Ripple employees. It includes testimony from Hyman and other SEC officials. We want to know what they talked about, what they brought up during the case. And right now, we don't know what they've been saying. So once this summary judgment comes out, we have access to a lot of the unknowns. This is what John is trying to tell us. And with that information, it's going to be massive if it's important. If it's something that the cryptocurrency space can delve into from what the SEC is trying to consider as in security. We need to know that information because it will create more foundation. It will create more concrete evidence as to whether or not cryptocurrencies will be labeled as a security. What do you think these individuals have been stating or saying in the midst of this case? That's going to come out once the summary judgment is released. Also, and I quote, this is something else that John says. I predict we will also see why it was so important that XRP holders be heard. The ones who hold XRP, the XRP army, the ones who say that XRP is not a security, it's going to be important for us to get their perception as well. We want everyone's opinion about cryptocurrency, specifically XRP, as to whether or not it is a security. Let's lay it all out on the table. This is pretty much what John is going into. We need to understand how these prominent individuals who are deeply involved with this case and what they think, because it's going to have reverberations across the cryptocurrency space. Best believe that. So a lot of eyes are on this case. This is a case that is going to be documented historically going forward within this new industry. People will always go down to this XCC, the SEC XRP lawsuit, and will use it as precedence. Yes, they will, especially if it plays out in favor of Ripple, of XRP. Many, many more cryptocurrencies will now utilize this case as precedent. That's going to be powerful. I'm just going to be real and say that's going to be powerful if the outcome is as such. All right. Now, let's go through this article again. Now, check this out. A couple of dates. Uh, motions for summary judgment are expected to come in by September the 13th, which is around 10 days from now. Motions. OK, now, after the motions have been delivered, the oppositions, those who oppose the motion are expected to be delivered by October the 18th, while replies to any opposition must be made by November the 15th. So first, you got the motions coming through for summary judgment. And then the opposite party has until October the 18th to oppose why the summary judgment should not go through. And then Judge Torres, he's going to make his final decision, right? Now you have James K. Filan, 
he predicts that Judge Torres decision on the expert motions and summary judgment might come on before March 31st, 2023. So we got a long time. We got a couple of months before we actually see what the information lies from the proponents for and against whether or not XRP is security or not. Now, with that being said, we have such a long time, right? Before we actually get the summary judgment, whether or not it's going to be approved or not from Judge Torres. How do you think the price in XRP is going to act? Let's look at the chart. Okay, because you guys can see that my idea currently is that XRP is going to go down, right? It is. But I want you all to see this, though. I've noticed how strong the market buyers has been supporting price. Right here on my ascending line, I can see that it's a great battle going on right now. And I could say that buyers are currently winning out against the sellers because they're able to keep the market supported on my ascending line. That's not by coincidence. Let's look at this, though. OK, because timing is going to be real important. You guys can see here on the two day chart that the market in XRP even a miss, right? Check this out right here on this two day price bar was weakness. We got more selling coming on this two day price bar, but the buyers have been very relentless into not letting price fall in XRP. That's powerful because it's telling me that the market may not fall that low and we might need to jump ship on expecting XRP to fall to possibly play in the long side or expecting the price in XRP to move up. We might need to do that today. So let's check this out on a three day chart. OK, so this is XRP right now on the three day chart. You guys can see we got seven hours and seven minutes left on this current three day price bar and the market is still not going down. Like we would expect eventually off of this weakness right here on this three day price bar, that price will go down. But here we are six days after that and the market is still not going down. So it's telling us we might need to flip course and I'm going to do that today. So let's go ahead and get out of this prediction right here. If we're out the market now, we will have a profit of around 1.58%. It goes that way. And now guess what we're going to do? We are going to look for the price in XRP to trend higher. Now, just because I'm saying that price in XRP is going to go higher, I'm going to put that into perspective and context. I'm not looking for a moonshot. I'm not going to tell you all that XRP is going to hit $589. No, I'm here to be real and give you all a realistic idea as to where price is going to go. So back to the daily time frame. Let me put this on a chart. OK, now I'm trying to zoom out because we can utilize prior history, prior price action to gauge where price is trying to go in XRP. Right now, obviously, that first area in XRP reaching the top is going to be right there around thirty three. What was that? Thirty four cents. Let's do 34 cents. That's the first area that I would be suspecting that sellers are going to try to come back into the market and lower XRP's price. That gives us 3% though. Like I said, I'm, I'm keeping it real. 3% may be the only thing we can get out of this move. Outside of 34 cents, my next area is going to be up here towards 35. Now that's only five and a half percent. Again, it's not a lot, but hey, we're not here to determine or force ourselves on price movement because we understand we cannot control that. But simply, we're here to take what the market is offering to us. And it may just be offering us 35 cents, which is five and a half percent. Next area, my third price target would be around 36. You guys can see it's around eight and a quarter percent movement. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. We got 34 cents. 35 cents and 36 cents. So all of that is simply in one penny increments. That's it. Hey, like I said, I'm not expecting too much to occur in XRP until we see some resolution come through with that summary judgment from that article that I've just shown you all. And that's it. I'm done. Now, guess what? It's your turn. You guys can let me know what you all think about XRP. What do you all think about the lawsuit currently? Uh, the places where we've gone in terms of how you think it's going to work out for Ripple and XRP? I want your thoughts. Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.